everybody, welcome back to my channel. Natalie here from the UK, making another video on what I eat in a day. I know you guys quite enjoy these videos, showing the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, when I have snacks and things, I basically am having fruit or veggie sticks, things like that. Sometimes I do have some crackers and other bits and bobs, but I really am trying to keep that to a minimum to try to lose a little bit more weight. So also, if you didn't check out my last video, I announced the winners to the Soulful Starches competition, and not everybody that won has claimed the prize. So please check last week's video. Look in the description. If your name's there, you just need to drop me an email and get your hands on the book, Soulful Starches, which is a recipe book, breakfast, lunches, and dinners. All of my, um, well, not all of them, but lots of my favorite meals that I make regularly are in this book. Uh, so today we're gonna to be concentrating on abundance, eating nice big portions, having loads of lovely flavors, and also nothing that is strenuous or difficult or complex to make because that's not really my cooking style. I kind of like to cook in batches and I like to cook pretty easy. I'm not one for complicated recipes. Hope you enjoy the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye for now. So for breakfast today, I had the carrot cake oats. I absolutely love this. It's one of my favorites and a go-to. So um, I made it with some traditional oats and also I added in some steel cut oats as well, sort of the kind of groat, groaty oats. I'm making it with water with a splash of plant milk, probably about three quarters water and a quarter of the plant milk. I use some pumpkin pie spice and some date syrup, obviously to give it lots of nice flavor. I left that on the hob to, to cook down. As you can see, the oats are really starting to cook now. And then I added in grated carrot. Uh, There's about two medium grated carrots. Uh, all of this is just eyeballed. I haven't actually measured these portions. I kind of know now how much to make. Um, it was getting, it was a little bit dry. So I added in a little bit more plant milk and just let that carrot cook. You can put the carrot in at the beginning so it cooks longer, but I quite like it with still a little bit of texture. Then I added some flame raisins. Lunch today is carrot and coriander soup from my cookbook, Soulful Starches. So I had fresh coriander, white potatoes, white onions, carrots, the flavorings and some red lentils as well. So you simply chop up the onions into quarters because you're um, going to blend this soup so you don't have to chop the onions very finely and add those into a nice big pan with a splash of water to get them to start sauteing. I took the potatoes and I peeled those. You could just scrub them if you um, if you want to have the skin swell that would be absolutely fine. Chop those into pieces and took the carrots, which I did just scrub, I didn't peel those. And again, just chop those roughly into pieces. Again, it's gonna be blended, so it doesn't really matter. You just want things to be kind of roughly the same size so that they will cook at a similar pace. So that also all goes in with the onions that have been in there for maybe about five minutes by now, five, seven minutes. Add the stock into the pot. Add red lentils and some dried coriander leaf. Added in the fresh coriander. Again, you could do this now or you could do this at the end if you want it to kind of hold its te texture in the soup. Give that a mix through. I added some salt and then I covered the pan. You wanna just keep checking this because you don't want it to stick and it might need like a little bit more liquid or something, but you just keep checking it. And then after roughly 15, 20 minutes, you're gonna find that the vegetables are cooked. And then you can just use your immersion blender or whatever blender you've got, or just keep it as a chunky soup. I quite like some of my soups to be chunky and then I like other ones to be nice and blended. And obviously when you blend your vegetables, it will thicken it up so much. So you might need to add a bit more water. And that was it. So absolutely delicious. And it is, because I've put so many herbs into this, it has kind of made it quite a kind of greeny kind of soup, rather than it being the bright orange that you sometimes get with a carrot soup. But yeah, it's got the white potatoes in there as well. So it has kind of made it a bit of a muddy color, but hey, I'm interested in what's in the food, not what it looks like necessarily. And so obviously I was just pointing out here that it is available in the book, Soulful Starches, for you to, to grab a copy if you want to down below. 
So it's actually the next day when I'm editing my video and enjoying more of the soup. So I actually recommend making more than I did when I just showed you the recipe. Make, make more <laughs> because I've got through it really, really fast and it keeps really nicely. You can have it in your fridge or even, you know, portion it up, put it in your freezer. And it's just, oh, I just love it. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> And I'm fine with that because it's only got good things in it. You know, it's not like you're eating lots of cream or dairy or, or you know, things in soups that are making them really calorific. It's just got loads of carrots and potatoes, lentils, you know, stock. And I actually added, when I heated it up the next day, I added even more fresh coriander um, because I just love the flavour of that as well. So I added even more. But yeah, really just such an easy thing to have for lunch and I'm really happy to take that out in a thermos or something like that if I want to eat when I'm out and about and know that I'm having something lovely and yummy. Just a huge fan of soup. Even in the summer, it's summer here now, but I, I'm i still really happy to have soup. I love homemade soup. What about you guys? Are you soup fans, soups and stews and those nice big one pot meals that you can make and then just have for a few days? I just love to eat that way because I just... I think it's because I don't really want to be cooking every single day. And if there's nothing ready and made in the fridge or the freezer, that's when things go wrong for me. And I start to lean on more of the convenience foods, the foods that I might have in the house for my son um, or something that really quick that I can buy at the shop and not eating the foods that actually I, I love to eat, but I can be a bit lazy or distracted some days. I say lazy, it's not really laziness, it's just busy. If I'm really busy um, and then it gets to the point where I'm actually really hungry and there's nothing made, it's a disaster and I'll end up having a vegan burger or something like that with my son. And that's not really how I want to be eating. So make lots of soup is the, uh, the moral of the story. <laughs> so for dinner today, I wanted to make a nice big fresh salad. Um, and um, the starches that are going to go in here are going to be beans and potatoes yet again I have a lot of potatoes in my diet I absolutely love them so very simple salad I just chopped up cucumber some nice bell pepper here I had a red one but any any bell pepper that I'd I'd have I'd use some of these little scallions these spring onions I love raw onion in salad as well and lots of little tomatoes they all go in too. I added in some black beans that I rinsed and then these potatoes I had steamed them earlier in the day when I was cooking the soup. So give that all a combined through and then to make a nice dressing a tablespoon of maple syrup, a tablespoon of vinegar, any vinegar will be fine, this is apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of lemon juice fresh or like from the bottle, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a pinch more of salt and some pepper. Gave that a combine and then I thought, hang on, I think I want something else in here. So I added in a quarter teaspoon of dried herbs as well. If you're gonna add dry herbs into a dressing, I quite like to just leave it for 10 minutes or so that so that the, the dry herbs can hydrate slightly in the liquid. Otherwise they can be a little bit woody. So just, just leave it for 10 minutes or so in the liquid and that works. But yeah, I topped it with some more beans because my son doesn't like as many beans as me. So I had the extra beans and then the dressing on the top. And this is absolutely fantastic. So easy, so quick and really, really satisfying. 